Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please do not be afraid to hit that subscribe button. But today's video is about a few pressure free ways on how to fill your sketchbook. So if you're ready, grab your sketchbook and let's get started. So one of my first ways that I like to fill my sketchbook is by practicing anatomy drawings. Um, drawing bodies is actually something that's very complicated for me um, because I mainly don't focus on drawing bodies like on my characters. My main focus is basically just drawing the faces. But if you are someone that struggle with them or even if you'd like to draw them, just continue to draw them anyway. Um, don't be afraid to mess up. Don't be afraid of how it comes out. I personally believe that a sketchbook is for practice and sometimes it's just okay to mess up. So with this body drawing, as you guys can tell, I kind of switch my technique. Um, and this is basically just me figuring it out. And look, do not be afraid of just figuring it out. Go outside of your comfort zone with these drawings. Um, don't focus on perfection. This is why I say it's a pressure free way to fill your sketchbook because it is simply just that and once we start going outside of our comfort zone we start doing things that we thought was very hard for us it opens up this new door for our art and it's probably a really great door so open that door up go through it and see how well like your art improved after doing things like this So the second way I like to fill my sketchbook is by drawing rushed faces. It allows me not to basically focus too much on detail. And instead it just allows me to focus on where everything is placed. And I notice like once you give yourself that room to mess up and not to be so perfect all the time, sometimes you may draw something in a way that you thought you would never draw. And it actually may come out really great. And I just feel like it helps you shape your style. So again, like all this is pressure free and don't like stress on the outcome. Just draw and just have fun. So the third thing that I like to do now is I like to draw facial features. And this is a really good way to practice too, if you need to practice on this. Um, and it also allows you to just focus on like one thing instead of the whole face. Um, you know, when you're drawing a whole face and you haven't really practiced like just drawing the facial features, sometimes it could get a little confusing um, or overwhelming. So taking the time out just to practice those certain features, it still all helps and it still all works. So drawing this, and figuring out your style and then coming back and then putting them onto a face. Definitely recommend doing this as a way to fill your sketchbook. So the next way that I like to fill my sketchbook is by drawing upside down. Now, you're probably wondering like, what does this do? But it's actually a really great tip um, for artists. Now, basically drawing upside down um, activates the right side of your brain and it helps you recognize like shapes and lines instead of just drawing what you think should be there. So it helps you actually see what is there and to draw what you see instead of drawing what you no basically so this is actually a really fun way i actually had a lot of fun doing this so if you've never drawn anything upside down try it to see how it goes for you you might actually have a whole lot of fun So the fifth way I fill my sketchbook is by blind contouring and if you don't know what that is it's basically you drawing an image but you're not looking at what you're drawing so you're not looking at your paper you're just looking at your image and what it does is it improves your hand-eye coordination and like your artistic observation skills as an artist and it really forces you to see the image you're drawing 
as like a series of lines instead of like again like what you know so it's actually a really good way to help improve so the final way that i like to fill my sketchbook is to simply just have fun i like to have fun in my sketchbook and again i love to just draw things without feeling pressured so just have fun draw with things that you normally don't draw with draw with markers instead of pencils so you can erase to see what you come up with do different things that you normally don't do and just have fun with it i actually did a scribble drawing in here and that's basically where you just scribble on your paper and you just create something out of that scribble and that's actually a really good way to draw from your imagination but this is the end of the video and if you guys like this video please leave a like down below and comment share and please subscribe so you don't miss another video but as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye